Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about how to handle authentication in rest assured Okay so let's get started we will start with what exactly is authentication different type of authentications type of basic authentications and we will also talk about what is primitive and what is challenge here once we are done with the theory part we will talk about how to write the code for the same and if you watch this video till the end then I have some extra tip for you where we will discuss about how we can create library for this or how we can avoid the writing or passing the authentication to each and every file so let's talk about what exactly is authentication so do not get confused with authentication versus authorizations okay they both are related but they are the separate entities authentication is a process just to make sure that you are the authentic person or not take a very basic example when you try to log into your gmail account when you provide the correct username and password definitely it will give you the access and you can access your gmail but in case if your username and password is incorrect definitely it will throw error that user password mismatch and it will ask you to log in again this is called authentication authorization is when you log into your google account you have multiple products right you have gmail you have youtube you have google drive google also has certain products which are paid like google adwords google search places right so once you pay some amount to google then only you can access those particular products so you are not authorized but you are authentic person but you are not authorized to use that particular product once we move forward we will talk about the authorization as well for authorization also we have different protocols for the time being we will talk about only the authentication so rest assured supports multiple authentication schemes like we have so OAuth, OAuth comes under authentication with authorization then we have digest then we have certificate based then we have form based and finally we have the basic authentication so if you go to this URL which I will be showing you so just go to their official blog okay just go to rest assured and just go here scroll down and search the usage guide and if you search authentication okay you will find basic authentication primitive and challenge so this is what exactly we are talking about so in our previous example we have discussed certain APIs which does not require any kind of authentication right we simply are trying to fetch the weather information or some random information but when you start working on the real time this is not the case every company have certain APIs which requires authentication until you don't pass the authentication you cannot even access this right so it is mandatory to pass the authentication for APIs. Yeah. So there was some background noise, so I paused the recording for the timing. So yes, we are going to talk about basic authentication today. So we have two kind of basic authentication. One is primitive and one is challenged. Okay. So let's talk about one by one. What is primitive basic authentication? It is one of the way to send the authentication so what exactly happens in primitive automatically whenever you make any request whether server requires authentication details or not it will automatically send the credentials as a header format so whether server requires authentication or not it will automatically pass your credentials in terms of headers so it generally reduce one additional call okay let's say you are sending a request now server is asking for authentication again request will come back then you will pass the authentication details so generally it make two calls but when you use primitive basic authentication along with your normal call it also sends basic authentication details as a header so it reduces one overhead from the server side so in one call you are sending all the information along with your authentication details so 
code wise you just need to add one keyword called primitive you need to start with given dot auth primitive then basic is a method where you just, you just have to pass the username and the password but when it comes to challenge here when server asks then only it will pass the certain credentials so in this way rest assured will not supply automatically once server will explicitly ask for it then it will again make a separate call and it will send a authentication details as a header so in this case you are making two requests so generally people suggest or use primitive basic authentication so we are going to cover the same because it covers both the scenarios if you use direct basic uh, uh, basic authentication which is challenge one sometime it might fail then again you have to use the primitive basic authentication so say for side you can continue with primitive basic authentication so let me show you how it works so we have already this project ready in my previous videos we have already set up this project so i'm going to create a new class rest assured demo okay i will increase the font size public void test one okay so now if you use rest assured okay so we already have a separate class called rest assured and here we have a method called given okay now just type auth and search for primitive and you just need to pass the basic you need to call this basic method where you need to pass the username password and when you send a request then we will capture the response code so if you have gone through my previous videos we have discussed if you are getting a success then you will get two access category so if you are authentic person and if your request is successful you will get 200 but if your username password is incorrect or some client side issues then it will throw 4xx error so 404 401 402 so we are going to capture the code and we will see response code from the server now which url so once you start using this rest assured productively in your office definitely you will have your application url username password since i do not have any productive one i found one from this tools qa which you can also use for your demo purpose okay just search for authentication because any url will have the same or any application will have the same way it just your credentials and url will change it is loading slow okay so they have one url okay when you hit this url it asks for the credentials if you pass the credentials it will give you success message if you don't pass it will throw error okay it says invalid username so let's use this url this is my url okay just a second and we have a username password as well username is tools qa it is case sensitive okay so give the exact credentials now if username and password is successful okay we have not used any of the runner we are going to use test engine now you can also use junit or plain java public static void main okay it will take some time and if username password is valid it should give us two access category okay you can see 401 now 
our code is correct everything is correct let me just add this double slash okay actually the URL was having one more slash so you can see now it is giving 200 it means your request accepted your username password was correct and you're getting the proper response code in case something your username password is incorrect it will give you unauthorized it is easiest one you just need to call oauth dot primitive dot basic and username password and rest of the piece of code will remain same this is how you can handle the authentication in rest assured now one additional trip tip for you let's say you don't want to pass this credential again and again so what you can do you can create a base class this base class will have all the information so let's say I created one base class and inside this base class I want to set up my project so I will make this method name as setup and I will call this as before test or before class in this case we have only one class so I will take <coughs> before class now if you just type rest assured you will find one key here or I will say the static keyword called authentication okay so what you can do you can directly pass all the credentials directly here okay so let's say you want to pass authentication just a second given dot auth primitive dot basic you can pass the credentials directly here so what exactly it will do it is going to return you authentication scheme okay so just quickly fill this with proper username and password okay it is giving some the method auth is undefined for the type rest assured okay just a second let's see the different methods So if we call directly primitive basic then automatically it should return us authentication which we are expecting okay so you directly can call rest assure dot primitive dot basic pass the credential and you can store this in a key so now this will serve your purpose so now even if you don't pass the credential in the main test case it should work so in this case I will remove this okay so when I say get request and that is a base class right so we need to extend it so I will say base class so what it will do before running this test since we are extending a base class it will go to base class it will run this it will check yes our credentials are already set so this key will serve as authentication and now it will not ask for any authentication and it should give you proper 200 response code and you can see since it is coming from base class now you can continue all the test nowhere you have to mention just you need to extend the base class 
if you have a thousand test cases in case your credential changes come to a base class make the changes and that's all in a simpler way you can also set your base URI port number everything you can set here so let's say in this case we can also set the URI so I don't have to pass in my all the test cases okay so now you can remove this from here so this base class have your credentials your base URI in case if you want you can set the proxy you can set the port number so it will be easy to maintain in case any changes go to the base class and make the changes now let's run the same code again and you can see it's working okay so in case if you want to explore more about these so just type rest assured and see what all properties we have so you can see the authentication base URI config if you want to set any configuration port number proxies root path session ID and everything they have so just try this and let me know if you face any issues in upcoming videos we'll also talk about the authorization this is all about the authentication authorization is more interesting because there we will have the access token key and everything right so we'll discuss more about it once we start the authorization part as well that's all i have for this video so if you like this video share with your friends subscribe to my channel for more update because in future i'm going to cover many videos on the rest assured thank you so much guys and have a nice day bye bye